understand why Landon Donovan's starting her, but it's all about the front three for me. A lot of underperforming this year, but that front three could get in probably many teams all over the world down that right-hand side. And Hirschfeld on their connection is very, very good. And Ule Saar having a great season so far, putting him in the back of the net and keeping Ashley Hatch out of the lineup. It's no Corey Bethune tonight. She is out of the lineup, not available tonight for the Spirit. But let's love the game from Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego, California. Jen Hildreth, Leanne Sanderson, back up for a listener at the Olympics. See all those players competing here in the NWSL. Close to 60 Olympians back in the NWSL now competing across the league. As the push, the time we've all been waiting for is here. Olympics are over. The focus now on getting to the playoffs. Top eight teams make it there. San Diego with work to do. Ben Eggman puts her shot out of play. I felt she should have done a better job here. She almost hesitated when it came out and could have got to it. Not a bad strike from Ben Eggman, always going wide. And you wonder how much of that perhaps is missing a player who's been as dynamic as Corey Bethune. The trend spin, though, will always open up some space. You know, steps out. And this type of turn, it's the back heel, the nutmeg, unbelievable from Trinity Robin. You cannot defend those types of things. And those are the things we love to see all day long. You can see here, it looks like Saar was holding her line. Yeah, that's offside. It's very, very close, but the initial play as well, because he looks like she was offside. Rodman making it look way too easy. Boy, if she perfected that move. Saar wanted to return the favor. Kwasi! Is she offside? She doesn't think so, but the flag, I do believe, came up. World And just looking at results earlier from this weekend, you look at teams like Bay FC, Seattle, Utah, all of those teams currently are below the playoff line. They all won today. And I think it's on Friday. I think it's a game changer as well, Jen, the fact that there's eight teams that make the playoffs. So even if the teams didn't start the season well and had the Olympic break during the NWSL season, teams can come back. You know, we see Kansas City current now lost consecutive games. Kruger. Saar. They allowed her to leave. She'll be a big loss to this San Diego Wave team. Kwasi has found herself on the ball quite often in this first half thus far. Oh, an open shot! That goes off the crossbar. Santos got to put it away. You can see Lungsvist has got no chance. Gets on the wrong side. Kwasi does so well. And they're all lining up, and I think... Santos has to do better there, doesn't quite get over it, leans back a little bit. The ball was the perfect way to pass, and all she needed to do was sweep it into the back of the net. She was asking for a corner. Yeah, she's still dealing with the injury that kept her out of the Olympics. Samantha McCaskill, Caitlin Torpy all out, shot from distance, bounces into the arms of Kingsbury. A player in there. I don't think she's found her feet yet for the San Diego Wave. Space for Rodman, that's bad news. Typically for opponents, is Saar onside? She looked close, leaves her layoff short, but it winds up in the goal anyway. All eyes to the flag of the assistant referee. Call the goal on the field, it looks like. So Washington will celebrate a lucky bounce. Yeah, it looks like it went off of McNabb. It was a really good run. You can see Trinity Robbins picking up the ball. No one's getting anywhere close to her. Saar tries to play it across the court. You can see the records of the two teams. Washington has yet to lose when scoring first. San Diego yet to win. Rodman and the Spear looking for more. Saar at the near post forces the save from Sheridan. Back hill on, on a dime every single time. She back it previously, and it's her first touch out of her feet that pre prepares her to be able to put this ball into the box. To saw really good play again from Trinity Rodman. If you're San Diego, what's one thing, Leanne, that maybe you look for to try to right the ship a little bit? Let's see what happens here as Washington has gained some momentum after that goal. Perhaps our final play of this first half. Lacey Santos puts it in play for Washington. 
First half whistle sounds. Spirit Leanne with the lead. Action. Jen Hildreth, Leanne Sanderson. Glad to have you along. Let's see what the second 45 bring for these two teams. Washington coming into the night in second place in the standings, trailing Orlando. There's a lot of players on the San Diego Wave team for me that don't look on the same page. Like I said before, it's like reaction as opposed to being proactive. Are they pressing? Are they high pressing or are they not? You can't really tell what they're trying to do in these moments. And if you're Washington, you best just get on the page of number two. Rodman feeding it forward to Kwasi, who's flipped head over heels. Both she and Sheridan stayed down after that collision. Yeah. You know, she takes that touch, and she took too many touches and then kind of just nonchalantly kicked it. I think if she thought she was going to be in, she would have just put it in there. Shot and just misses the other end for San Diego. One of their best looks. And it comes from Sanchez. Opened up for Maria Sanchez in this moment. They broke really, really well. You can see the window opportunity opened up. There's half a yard. Kingsbury looked like she had it covered in the end, but those are the types of areas that I want to see. Cascarino, Maria Sanchez being able to be center. Try not to put it too much on Aubrey Kingsbury, because I think the set pieces have been too easy for Aubrey Kingsbury to come and collect. I think you can see now the San Diego Way players are actually in there already. Service, waiting, wanting, scored! Kristen McNabb puts it away for San Diego, and it is a goal that gives life to the wave. Well done, Kristen McNabb. She deserves that. Obviously, that own goal in the first half wasn't her fault. Wesley hit it off of her, and it was a good ball in for Maria Sanchez, but the team kept it alive, and McNabb ends up putting it in the back of the net. You can see here, and it falls straight to her. Initially, on the initial play, it fell to her. And then sometimes you need a little bit of luck. And I think she... San Diego scoring their goal off a corner. Can Washington do the same? Rodman having her way. It's headed and saved. Sheridan stretching out to keep that one out of the goal. Trinity Rodman does so well here. What a great ball in with the left foot. And I was waiting again. And that is such a good save. That's one of the best saves I've seen in a really long time. Look at that. That was going in the top corner. Fantastic ball in from Trinity Rodman. The San Diego Wave team, I haven't seen it at all all season where they look like they're going to push on. The, the quality when they're getting in the final third, their build-up play just hasn't been good enough. Mater and the Spirit. We're looking for a late winner. That won't happen. This one will end 1-1. It looks like, yep, that is the final whistle from our referee. 